Hello and welcome to another Cheeky Scientist Whiteboard Training Wednesday video. I'm Isaiah Henkel with Cheeky Scientist and today I'm going to talk to you about why PhDs, why PhDs are being hired at an accelerated rate in industry. So we have over 5,000 PhDs in our Cheeky Scientist Association program which is a program that's really two different things. It's a complete blueprint for PhDs to get hired into industry and it's a private PhD only job referral network for PhDs who may probably like you that don't have any network in industry. So it's like a pre-made job referral network to help you get job referrals because that's the fastest way to get hired. So how is it up 500%? We've done several meta analyses and we've been looking at the trends over the past 18 months. And about 18 months ago, there was a, a, a sharp decrease in hiring overall compared to today, right? So what does that mean? It means today it's up quite a bit. So we're seeing we're seeing, what is that? It's five times as many people total being hired, five times as many PhDs. Now, if you're thinking this cannot be true, right, because I'm finding it very hard to get a job, it just means that you're not applying the right strategies or you're not getting strong referrals. And I know that might be hard to hear, but it's okay because those are easy to fix, right? Once you know the right strategies, once you have a good referral, it's very easy to get hired. And hiring is up 500%, if not more, for PhDs in industry in STEM alone, and you can look at the mass bio reports, right? So if you're like, where's the data on this? Go to mass bio, look at the 2018 report, the 2017 report, it's gonna show you a couple of things. One, more PhDs are being hired than those with masters. So that's a common misconception too, that your PhD is somehow a liability, it's not. Two, it's gonna show you that all of the job growth is in STEM. So if you're a STEM PhD, which is science, technology, engineering, and math, as well as all the life sciences, physical sciences, social sciences, that's right, according to the National Science Foundation, social sciences is STEM. Um, engineering, of course, mathematics, economics, even teaching and learning. If your field uses the scientific method at all, you are in STEM and that's where all the job growth is and that's why we're seeing in the increase. But if we dig in, which we have, and we've done a lot of different interviews with hiring managers at Novartis, at Genetech, at Intel, um, if, you, if you talk to these people, what they'll tell you is that PhDs are being hired at an accelerated rate because of six main things. Six main things that makes PhDs, like you if you're a PhD watching this, um, highly valuable in industry. So you might not feel very valuable in academia right now because postdocs are paid very poorly. There's just not a lot of support in terms of training for anything outside of academia. Don't worry, you are still very valuable and I'm gonna tell you why you're valuable to industry employers. First. If you want to get more information on this, go to phdsgethired.com, right, just in case you turn off the video before I get finished here. Go to phdsgethired.com, put your name and email address in. I'll send you all of this information and I'll give you an invite to our free webinar tomorrow. It's our LinkedIn training webinar, 12 advanced LinkedIn strategies if you're trying to get hired into any job. That's tomorrow. Just go to phdsgethired.com, put your information in there. I'll send you all the information you need. So why is hiring up? Why do employers want to hire PhDs over other job candidates? Number one, PhDs work very well autonomously. Now you've probably heard another misconception that the fact that you're a PhD is a liability because you're too independent. This is not the case. Employers wanna hire people that have initiative, right? That don't need somebody else to motivate them to work hard. That's a PhD, right? So you might be thinking, I'm at a disadvantage because I'm a little bit introverted. You're not, that's an advantage. It means that you can work by yourself. You're gonna be the person that's at the office late getting things done. You're gonna be the person that shows up early. You're gonna be the person that thinks of new ideas without somebody telling you what new ideas to think of. You can work autonomously. This is very valuable. Being able to work autonomously and in a team together is something that PhDs can do and what makes you very, very valuable. If you haven't been communicating that in your job search, you need to start doing it now. Number two. PhDs are not afraid to be the vocal minority. Now you might think that PhDs are a bit more cautious with certain things. Maybe that's true, but they're definitely not cautious with speaking their minds when they know something is wrong. And believe it or not, no matter what you've heard, this is very valuable in industry. In fact, lots of studies show that the people that are less agreeable get promoted faster. That's right, people that are less agreeable, people that are not yes men or yes women, get promoted faster. That's you as a PhD. You're not afraid to speak up. If you see something's wrong, if you think the boss is doing something incorrect, you're in a meeting and like the data is not adding up, right? The, the ROI, the results on investment aren't making sense to you. An idea is really not good. You'll be the first to tell people that's an advantage. Very important to communicate that as well. Number three, you learn very fast. Look, you've heard me say lots that your PhD 
makes you a doctor of learning, right? A PhD is a doctor of philosophy. Philosophy is knowledge and the ability to ascertain knowledge, right? This literally means that you're a doctor of learning. You can learn things very quickly. This is a huge advantage in industry. Most PhDs don't talk about it though. You're able to go into a room in front of five doctors who are trained to aggressively pick apart your logic just to get your PhD. Okay, who else can do that? Right, there's like TV shows like Shark Tank and these other shows that come up where people walk in and they just get eviscerated by other business professionals. That's just one thesis committee meeting for a PhD, okay? This is a huge advantage for you. You can learn very quickly. Why is this valuable? Because employers want to train you on the job. They want to train you on the job. They don't want you to get more academic training. You don't need to do more of a postdoc or even do a postdoc if you've decided you want to go into industry now. Just go into industry now. They'll train you on the job. Number four, discovery minded. PhDs are looking for discoveries. They're natural problem solvers. One of the top three skills that employers are looking for, according to a large scale survey done by Forbes recently, is problem solving, being discovery minded, innovation. Look at the data. The companies that innovate the most make the most revenue that they're most successful. They are the most successful, whether it's Apple or Google or Intel or Pfizer or Amgen, right? Any of these companies that are at the top of the list, they're the most innovative companies. Genetech is a good example too. You can innovate. Most pe people just regurgitate information. I say this a lot, it doesn't make some people happy, but it's true, right? To get a master's degree technically, you just have to master a field. That's how they came up with the name master's degree, right? It's also true for even MDs, I would argue. But a PhD is the one terminal degree, the one degree where you have to push a field forward. That's why it's so hard, that's why there's so much failure. You have to actually innovate to get your PhD. Okay, it makes you very innovative. You have to make that argument when you're applying for jobs. PhDs are natural project managers. You are a project manager as a PhD without even realizing it. Realizing it. You've had to not only manage a lot of projects in the lab, you've had to communicate them to other people in the lab, um, to your PI, or you know, even if you're not working in a lab, you've had to communicate them to other staff, other TAs, uh, other professors, right? That communication is a huge part of project management. You've had to hit deadlines, okay? That's the second huge part of project management, hitting deadlines, making timelines for things. If you work in a lab, especially, you're sometimes you're working minute by minute, right? Incubations and washes and all these things that you have to manage very closely. That's extremely valuable. That's a transferable skill that's huge that you have. And number three, budgets. You have to hit a budget, right? Every reagent you buy in the lab matters, right? If you haven't had to order things directly, at least you know you have to be very careful with the amount of reagents you have because it might run out and you might not have enough funding for it. Again, that is valuable, but you have to learn to speak that language. Number six and finally, cross-functional work. You have experience with cross-functional work. I want you to stamp this word down on your desk or put it on a post-it on your mirror. You gotta remember it, because in industry, it's an extremely valuable word that you're likely not putting in your resume. Cross-functional relationships, cross-functional work. It means that you're able to work with people to get stuff done when you don't have any authority over them. Hello, that's an entire PhD's career, right? You're working with postdocs and other PhD students, people you have no authority over that you have to work with, to sh even just to share a lab culture hood, right? To share reagents, to share computer programs or a, a, a localized computer or, or whatever. You have to go to lab meetings and, and talk about ideas. That's all cross-functional work, cross-functional collaborations. It makes you very, very valuable as a PhD. If you haven't been communicating these six things, start communicating them in your job search, on your resume, on your LinkedIn profile. I'm gonna talk about how to, do, how to do that specifically tomorrow on Thursday, August 2nd at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and again at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'll be on live, it's during a webinar. If you wanna learn more about that webinar, just go to phdsgethired.com. Again, it's tomorrow, so you wanna sign up today at phdsgethired.com. Hopefully this helps you with your job search. It should change your perspective and it should tell you why so many PhDs are being hired. Until next week, remember your value as a PhD and start thinking and acting like a successful industry professional.